Hey all, here we are, number two in the TP series. And today we're gonna to talk about the material and what I'm using and how I'm doing it. So what we have here in front of me is a big pile of tarps. Okay, here is tarp one and two that's sewn together. And here is tarp, trying to get a handle on it, three and four sewn together. Now what I need to do is sew these two tarps to these two tarps. And the way I'm going to do that is with continuing the stitch that I've already been doing. Um, I've just been doing a basic running stitch where I have taken the two seams and put them on top of each other like this. Like that. Okay. And then just running a, a stitch down it. And I'll cut myself a section of, of uh, waxed cord. All right. I put a link in the first video of all of the material that I'm using for this TP build, but I'll go over it real quick again. This is like a nylon cord, but it's waxed. It's got a 350 to five, 350 foot tensile strength. This stuff is strong. Um, a simple needle, pointed needle, and then a running, and then I use some straight pins to hold the seams together while I stitch. So, there's that. Now, what's going to happen is when I'm done, I will have a 12 by 36 foot tarp. I'm going to end up cutting 6 feet off of the tarp. I'm either going to do 3 feet at each end, or one end's just going to be a 6 foot cut. I haven't decided yet. Um, I'm probably just going to do one end as a 6 foot cut and call it even. That way... Um, I'll have a big six foot piece of tarp to do a canvas to do something with maybe make a pair of pants or part another part to this um, I have four more tarps just like this one and um, put up for when it comes time to do the liner so I can sit and stitch up the liner and the ano it's a cover that goes above the sleepers to um, protect them from rain and stuff. If they have the smoke flap open and it is raining and they have a fire going, that auto will protect you. It will keep you from getting all wet. As you can see, my Daisy May back there decided it's a good time to start scratching. <laughs> um, but what I've been doing for the last, for a while here, in the last week and a half or so, is stitching. Just a simple run stitch, okay? Let's zoom in a little bit on this. bring this down just a tad over there we are let's see here see if we can get a good you can see the running stitch right there and yes I'm losing a fingernail so before you freak out yes I'm losing a fingernail um, you can see the running stitch right there on both sides there and there uh oh just dropped the needle so what I've been doing is I've started at night. I just sit around. The wife will sit over in her spot and we'll talk and about our days and what's happened and so forth and so on. And while I sew, we just have our conversations. Now, I'm not going to show you every single stitch that I've done on this because that would be crazy boring. And all it is is a running stitch. You take your needle, stick it through pull it and then you just go a little bit up like this and do it again and then you just keep working I'll put a link in the bottom so you can see I did a YouTube short on the stitching wrong way huh so you it will show you if you're really that interested in seeing the stitching it will show you how I did it now this stuff is eight ounce drop cloth painters canvas now it's not the most expensive and probably not the most durable but one of the things I do I've spent 150 bucks on this and that's about all I'm going to end up spending on it because everything else that I get I'm going to get off the land uh, the poles the pins the stakes I'm all going to make them from off the land um, my dog is over there chewing on or one of my dogs is chewing on a deer antler so I apologize for the grinding in the background but these are eight ounce painters canvas drop cloth 
They're not waterproof. They are somewhat water resistant. And no, I did not wash them before I, I started this. And the reason being is because when I finally put it up and it rains and then it dries, it will dry to the size that I want it. Instead of just shrinking like normal and then having to add pieces here or there to make it appropriate, this will just shrink to what it's supposed to be and that's where it'll stay. It'll tighten around the poles, it'll make a nice tight um, tarp. I will however use smoke to make it a little bit more water resistant. The same way you do when you make a deer hide, you smoke it, it puts color into it, plus it puts creosote which will fill the gaps and the whole little bitty holes which will help to make it waterproof ish more water resistant than waterproof water resistant now if that doesn't seem to work and i just seem to be getting totally soaked in a rainstorm or something inside there um i will then go ahead and see if i can find a chemical to paint on this or put on this to make it water resistant Ooh, i am so sorry about that my goodness oh i don't know where that come from anyway dry mouth uh, when I get done like I said I've got to sew the other two pieces together and when I get done this will be a 36 uh, 12 by 36 tarp I'll cut it down so it's 30 feet and I, like I said I'm probably just gonna take six feet off of one tarp and be done with it and move on fold that end up put a seam on there fold that end up and stitch it and leave it alone because ultimately I will be cutting it off but when I do when I do the arc to make the actual TP shape when I do the arc I'll be cutting it off anyway so I may just leave that piece there cut it and then go back and stitch it and that would probably be the easiest way to do it um, that way I'm not cutting it sewing it cutting it again and trying to resew it so hi dozer uh, anyway uh, it's very simple. Like I said, the nylon wax nylon thread, a single needle, and just hanging around, making it, getting it done. So when it comes time to lay it out and cut it, we'll have another video and we will go from there. If there's any questions, go ahead and hit me up and I'll answer them as soon as I get the notification. And as soon as I can, you'll get your response. This thing's going to be heavy. <laughs> Talk to you later.